Hey Moglets, today we'll be maxing Mist Splitter, trying it out. Since it is a sword and can be used with every sword user, we're going to, you know, have a discussion around who would have the most uh, use out of it. We're not super focused on Ayaka today, more so her signature weapon there, the Mist Splitter. The domain for it is open today, you can see we've also been farming these. We are more or less prepared except for having to run through the dungeon a thousand times, um, but I'll keep that short for you, mainly just showing the drops. Right, this was the domain with the several small enemies so we're gonna actually be taking Vinti here I think that's a pretty solid team let's see if we can speed run this whoops already messed up 45 seconds all right let's try and beat that we will be using condensed as well no purples no golds quite sad 46 we're getting worse did get one purple this time Eh. I think that was a pretty good one 35 yeah it's gonna be hard to beat that no purples 33 okay Two purples. And we'll probably have to go make some more condensed resin, but here we go, going up to the next star. Just auto add all of our junk to start. And there we go, 341 base, 28 crit damage. Let's keep it go. Oh, we might also need to farm some more of the, uh, yeah, oh geez. Starting with these five condensed resin. Oh, we also have this with Ayaka. This was Eula for some other upgrade materials, but 10% chance to receive double. I think that is slightly better than Mona's in the long run. Sure, you could get several batches with no double, but, but with Mona, you're only getting the beforehand crafting materials, so Mona's would actually need to be 30% chance to actually even out over time. No doubles. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, we'll need, I think, yeah, we'll definitely need to run some more there, obviously. Gotta make these as well. And finally, as much of these as possible, too. Man, the Inazuma stuff is so hard to farm. Like, the enemies don't drop much of anything, honestly. I've been farming them for like the last two days straight, and we don't have anything. It doesn't help that both Ayaka and the weapon both need those samurai drops. Okay, so we're still missing some of the samurai drops and some of the chaos axis, so we're gonna be farming for a bit. I'll be back. Oh, well, we got a lot of stuff from that one, at least. Yeah, but then we get like, you know... No joke, I have been searching for this dude, this ruined sentinel, to farm more of the mats for well over like an hour and a half now, and I think I figured out that I have to do this quest to make it stop raining. So I gotta look for these two things, and it's telling me... So Elemental Sight is telling me to go kill myself in this uh, electric water, which is still here, but this is the quest to lower the water or stop it from raining, so I assume the water will lower. Here's a different quest, so maybe they'll solve that. I don't know, oh, man, this is so frustrating. There goes the water. Maybe we can finally f get this enemy. There they are, I think, finally. So what do we get for an hour and a half? A green? Two more greens, well, I guess it's three greens, so one blue four blues, about 1% of what we need. It's all good. Well, whatever, main thing is we found it so we can move on to the next one. Oh, that was the last one. Okay, guess we still have the Samurais we need to farm anyway. They drop so few. This one dropped nothing. I got a total of one blue one from four Samurais. Nothing. And that was it for the Samurais also. Oh boy. Uh, jeez, I didn't know it was gonna be this hard. Let's go to the crafting station, although I'm quite sure we don't have enough of those. Yeah, I don't even think that's enough for 70. Oh man. Nope. Well, I'll be back later, I guess. Not much choice. See ya. Hey, hey, we are back. We've spent the last two hours farming ley lines, and I just realized something. I bet they have this material in the gift shop, or in the whatever it's called. Paimon's Bargains. There it is. There it is! I can only buy 12, so it probably wouldn't be enough anyway without the other farming. But man, wait, what's Star Glitter? Yep, and here are the bigger ones. That would be a shame. Really big shame, but actually no, 16 for 8? I, I, would, I would do that if we don't have enough, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I was farming the blue ley lines with bones. The first one starts over here in Araumi, and we did the entire cycle to where it went back to Araumi. And the first one here in Araumi does contain the, uh, the ruined dudes. I forgot what they're called because I hate them. And I'm specifically talking about the blue ones. I did do a few of the, uh, gold ones because I actually prefer more gold than XP books. But I didn't find much use of the gold ones. The blue ones have, like, you know, a good four or five sets of the, uh, ruined enemies. 
Um, I didn't see anything good, and when there weren't ruin enemies, most of the time they were samurais, which is also useful, because I need those both for Ayaka and the weapon too. So if you don't have enough, I can continue that. I think actually right here, this one should also be the ruin enemies. We're gonna do that real quick, because you don't even need to collect the uh, resource from ley lines, you just can leave it there. Although if you do leave it there, then it takes a long time before it despawns and a new one spawns. So for the most part, we did actually have to use resin. We were taking like turns, like, okay, you take this one and then, you know, a new one would spawn. So only one of us had to use resin. You could form a party of like four people and farm ley lines like crazy. Uh, yes, here we go. These are the guys I'm looking for. All right, that was it. We are not gonna collect this. All right, not a bad amount, not a bad amount, but we are only going to the fourth star here, so. Yeah, I believe I did also get some purple ones, so, you know, maybe... Yeah, we got five purple out of all those. We must have killed at least 60 of those dudes, and five of them dropped purples. But it's fine, let's first start with the crafting station, of course. It's so weird that the monster drops are the issue, and not, like, the, the, the stuff you need to spend resin for. <laughs> uh, that's not an issue yet, but we still have five condensed because I wasn't spending any condensed on the ley lines Obviously to make the mileage go as far as possible. Oh, wow. Okay, but we got a lot of the green ones as you can see here 89 of them so That actually we might have enough. I mean we will have enough for the next level for sure But maybe even enough for all of it. Probably not. Come on sucrose Two bonus. All right, no, that's actually not bad. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah, we need to make those two. We'll probably have to go back to the domain, actually. Do we not have a single one of those? Oh, dude. Okay, we have nothing. Okay. Thankfully, we saved our condensed. The mythical golden one, let's see if we ever get one of those. I think our record was 33. Ooh, 32. Come on, gold, or at least a purple. Okay. I think it can still be a little bit faster. That wasn't it, though. Nope. Come on, purple. Yes, ooh, three purples, that's a whole gold. Gold, all right. Can't complain about two purple. No, I think that 33 is going to be our uh, record for now. One purple, better than nothing, of course. All right, last one, let's go. Hopefully that's enough. If not, well, I have fragile resin, I guess. 24 of these bad boys, come on, Ayaka, come through for me. Give me at least a bonus, one bonus, not one bonus. How about one bonus here? You're crafting 11 times, that means 10%, math checks out, Ayaka. Do your boy a solid, don't do me a solid, it's fine. Well, we can get it up to 80. I think we'll need five gold for 90. Six gold, ouch. But we're at 590 base, 40 crit damage. I won't be happy till it's maxed, though. Oh no, 27 of these. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta hit it up the store. We gotta grab everyone we can. This really does hurt a lot, 16 of these for something you can farm. I understand that, and you know, even this hurts quite a bit. But this was my video plan for today, and damn it, I'm going to make it happen. I'm just stupidly stubborn like that. So we can craft three of these straight away. Ayaka, this is your last chance to prove me right. Give me a bonus, please. Please. No, I think my math is right there. It's just I've I've been getting pretty unlucky today. Sucrose has the same. Maybe we'll get an extra purple. No, so we're crafting 27 of these. Sucrose, yeah, we got three bonus. That lines up to the 10%. And we got three bonus here. So now, you know, on the less important stuff, the statistics are uh, coming back for me. Yeah, the only thing we're missing now is some resin and seven of these though, that's harsh and we bought all from shop already, so we're gonna have to go through the ley line a few more times. We do unfortunately have to do that. Was this one of the ones that was kind of useless? Yeah, ah uh, yeah, this was the other useless one. There's also one early on with just a bunch of slimes, but I think like besides three, maybe up to four of the ley lines, they were all either samurais or the machines. And here we have some more machines on the next one. We also should be getting pretty close to ending the uh, ley line route by Fragile Resin. And here we have some samurais and some treasure hoarders. Oh, there we go. And now the ley line circle has been complete. This should also be machines. And there we go. Oh, I think one of them didn't drop anything. Oh wait, no, maybe this is it. Two greens. 23. Uh, well, I don't have any choice but to use sucrose here. Come on, sucrose, please. Please. 
Yeah, we got a bonus. Uh oh, dude, we're so close though. If we get one bonus, I think that's enough. We only need five. Please, so close. Ah, that might be enough. Please, 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 please. Two more? I thought that was it. I'm still very grateful, Sucrose, because it would have been three more otherwise, or maybe even four more. I know after the first one, it does take a bit to get to the next. I think we're gonna keep going with the gold ones. We haven't gone all the way through the gold yet, but most of what we did go through were not useful enemies, but maybe we were on the cusp of something great. Let's check. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Still though, um, if you're specifically farming these machines to raise I guess the weapon. Firstly, wouldn't recommend spamming ley lines you don't necessarily need to. I would be uh, more patient. If you're like, no, screw that. I got my new toy, I wanna max it. Uh, then I would still recommend blue ley lines, unless you like really need Mora. Because I believe these are the first machines we're coming across in maybe five ley lines. I haven't really been keeping track to be honest. So this is what we were able to get, 13. That's four blues. Oh, we have enough. You can take a break from giving me bonuses now, Sucrose. It's fine, I believe we have enough, but thank you anyway. Very, very nice. The nightmare is almost over. Just need to spend a few of our precious, precious fragile resin. I think we're gonna go 180. Craft four of these bad boys. I have a feeling that's what we'll need, unless we get like super mega poggers lucky. First up we have Three purples, that is a whole gold. Maybe I did spend too much fragile resin. Ooh, that might be a record. No, 33 again. And, eh, and, ouch. Four, 21, seven, that's 12. Yes, I think we have enough already, let's leave. I am asking for at least a couple bonuses now, Ayaka, because you haven't given me any bonuses yet. I don't really need them. There you go. Feel free to go ahead and give me another bonus. I'll take it, it's fine. Okay, we're only gonna craft the three we need in case we have another weapon at one point. Guess it doesn't really matter, but. <sighs> Just for reference, I started recording at 9 a.m. It is now 1 p.m. Uh, and I don't even know how much resin. I lost track. Probably somewhere in the neighborhood of like 1200 though, including all the ley lines we had to do. There it is though. 621 base attack going to 674. That's my by far highest base attack sword now. 44 crit damage, definitely not bad. Now we get to finally try it out. Not on you, Ayaka, you are not ready yet. Hold on to this cool steel for a minute. Okay, so now that it's maxed, I'm finally understanding this wall of text. Basically, we can get up to 40% elemental damage. We start with 12 and we can get up to 28 here, depending on how many stacks we have. We'll automatically have a stack as long as our energy is not full, meaning we cannot do our ult. As soon as we do get that, that stack disappears. The other stack you can get when you do a basic attack, but that basic attack has to be an elemental basic attack. So Water Dude here wouldn't be a very good contender for it because he cannot do basic attacks that are infused with element, unless there's like, I don't know, a Banette or a Chongyun or something. And finally, you get a stack by using a burst. So as soon as you use a burst, actually, you'll automatically have two stacks. And then you would just need to do an elemental basic attack. So who fits all that criteria? Unfortunately, not really Kazuha either, unless the plunge also counts. I want to try that out real quick. Kazuha, you get to upgrade for a minute. Mmm, look at that delicious crit rate to crit damage ratio. <laughs> Still not perfect, but that's the best I can do for now. Mainly, I just wanted to see what is current. Okay, it's at 73%. We're going to go ahead and do his burst just to make sure that it actually applies it at the stat. Page. It does. Now you can see we have 89%. Alright, there's an enemy over there going to make sure the stacks are gone. No, we're still at 81%. Oh yeah, we have a stack right now because our ult isn't full. But that means 81 is the baseline. We're just gonna go over and do a plunge attack now. An animo plunge attack. There it was. We're still at 81, so I guess that does not count, unfortunately. Oh yeah, it says normal attack, which is specifically this, I guess. Actually, ka -ching. An Electro Kaching would not be bad for this at all. Not only in the looks department, hey, this is actually, this could be a Kaching sword. An Electro Kaching, of course, cause she needs to hit with her basic attack. It actually suits her really well. High base, crit damage. Let's just see how this works even when we can't have all the stacks. We only have one right now cause we didn't do uh, an ult recently. Yeah, okay, we'll do the third. So now we, now we should have two stacks. One for doing the burst, one for not having full energy, and you know, it's still good. You get 12% elemental damage bonus for the last stack. So of course you should use it on a character that can have all three stacks. And I think Kaching is actually quite perfect for this sword. So I think besides Ayaka, of course, that's her signature weapon, and of course it would suit her fine. She can do 
uh, cryo basics very easily, but Kaching can also do electro basics pretty easily. I think we're gonna actually go with four piece thundering. I don't think it's actually necessary to keep the uh, basic attack stack up because it lasts for five seconds. Since she is electro, she wants to be hitting with electro attacks anyway, and it doesn't last as long. We are a little low on the crit rate side, but it's not looking too bad. We have 61 electro damage bonus, so let's see what happens when we get all three stacks. Actually, no, I think crit rate is fine because she gets a 15% bonus. Here are some electro slimes here. Let's just start with her ult first of all. Ooh, that's strong. Oh no, they're all dead. I can't do a basic attack. I guess I should have done that while they were getting killed. <laughs> I didn't know they would all die from her ult. Here we have some bigger dudes and unfortunately one of those guys, which is not the best for uh, Electro Kaching. There was a basic though. All right, now we have the ult. Now we should have all stacks actually. Let's do that once more and then check her. Yep, there we go, 89%. Inazuma really isn't the best place to try out an Electro Kaching though. We still have our weekly bosses to do so we can try Wolf Boss. Now, of course, she won't have uh, most of her stacks until um, she has her ult. Well, she has two right now because of the basic, but really want that three stack. I'm surprised at 15k damage from her uh, E. That's pretty That's pretty good. We currently don't have any buffs or anything like from a Binette or whatnot, so pretty solid, I should say. She does have her ult now, which means she only has one stack. All right, here we go. We're just gonna start with her ult. Go ahead. 13k. He might have some sort of resistances. I'm not super familiar. Uh, but yeah, when her attacks crit, it's not bad at all. It could also be because we didn't have Zhongli shield. Yeah, Zhongli shield helps a lot. Here we go with all three stacks again. And that should do it. F yeah, 15k again. Let's see what we get from Wolf Boss. Gladiator's Nostalgia, pretty mediocre. And that was it. Which other characters could use this and actually get all the stacks? Don't think Traveler can. Binette could at C6, but I think there are better weapons for him like the Skyward Blade he has. No for Chi Chi. Of course, Ayaka, it is her signature weapon and it would be good for her. Kaya, no. No, I think that was it. We don't have as many sword users as I thought we did. I thought we had like mostly sword users, but but yeah, I think one of the best contenders is in fact Kaching, both visually and mechanically. I would say it definitely beats up Primordial Jade Cutter because that passive doesn't really do her that many favors. Of course, with Jade Cutter, you get pretty much every crit rate you need with her. Electric Kaching, Ayaka, I think those are the only two that can really take full advantage of it. But yeah, I guess that'll do it. Overall, of course, for me, it was definitely worth maxing. Even for characters it's not perfect for, the high base attack, the, the crit damage sub, and then of course, Every character can at least have those first two stacks. So it's a good sword all around, but I think that's where I'm gonna wrap it up because I have about five hours worth of footage to edit now. I wish the farming didn't take as long as it did, but that's just what it is, Inazuma's new area, and of course all the Inazuma stuff has to be farmed there. And yeah, uh, when you're in a rush to max something, that's gonna be kind of a pain, but that's just how it is. I obviously don't blame the game for that, just my own, uh, impatientness whatever make sure to drop a like on the video if you did happen to enjoy thanks as always for watching and until next time